There's something about this scene that you might not immediately notice, but it's evidence of big progress. Seattle Public Schools is hiring more educators of color, more staff of color throughout the district. The district's diversity hiring initiative for this past school year alone shows 36% of all new classroom teachers hired were teachers of color, 54% of all new school leaders hired people of color. And in the central office, 55% of all leadership positions hired were people of color. Michael Simmons and his team of recruiters are on the front lines of getting it done and making sure that all new hires not only come on board, but want to stay. So, so that retention piece is something that we have to continue to work on in terms of development, making sure that culture and climate is somewhere where they want to be and they hopefully see Seattle Public Schools as a career as opposed to a job. The focus on finding the right teaching staff, educators who reflect the cultural makeup of the students they teach, that focus is a top priority for Superintendent Denise Juno. We are making every effort to be super intentional on increasing um, diversity in our leadership roles, including African-American and black men. Our students of color have told us they want teachers who look like them. And research shows that all students thrive when staff reflects community diversity. That push for better hiring practices began in 2015. We had, a, I think at that time, a new affirmative action plan. So we were really focused on goals inside of that that said, you know, we need to have a workforce that's representative of the populations that we serve. And so from there, I think we just started tracking and reporting that annually. So this work isn't brand new, um, but I think it's just gotten more and more focused over time and more intentional over time. The foundation to the effort is the district's five-year strategic plan, Seattle Excellence. It puts students, starting with those furthest from educational justice, it makes those students the top priority. The most important thing in how we impact their learning, the environment in which they're learning in, is the most important thing that we can all do. So yes, the stats are better. They've exceeded the set goals, but the job is not done. You know, in a perfect world, we I could walk away from this job and say, you know what, I got our teaching force to match our student population. We're a long way from that. I think we're at about 78% um, of our teachers are white and 22% are teachers of color. Um, so we have a long way to go, but we're, we're seeing every year we're getting closer and closer.